Good morning, YouTube. This is Los Angeles Prepper here with a short uh, PSA Prepper service announcement. Um, get ready uh, to bug out with your pets if you have pets. Um, these fires in Northern California and Southern California and all over California. Um, <clears throat> you know, be ready to evacuate in general um, in relatively short order. You know, some of these fires, you know, people were waking up in the middle of the night and their neighbor's homes were burning, the hillside was burning. So you don't always have a half an hour or an hour or even 20 minutes necessarily to get everything that you want to get and all your paperwork and all your preps. And, you know, you need to be ready to leave. Well, imagine that you have, you know, half a dozen pets and not saying anything against people that have half a dozen pets. Could be all different manners of pets, you know, six cats, six dogs, couple lizards, fish, you know, who knows. Bugging out with the fish would be hard, by the way. I hope you don't have any big fish. That'd be hard to bug out with, but, but I'm digressing. Um, seriously, though, get ready to bug out with your pets. Have, have their food ready. Have some toys and supplies for them. Um, <clears throat> their medication, you know, try to keep all the pet stuff in one place in general. Have their carriers ready. Uh, if your pet hates getting into their carrier, might want to work on that or figure that out. You do not want to be playing, you know, the cat. I helped my friend move and his cat, <laughs> his fucking cat climbed into the couch and like refused to get out. So we're, we're like holding this couch upside down, trying to shake a cat out from, from the inside of this couch. I don't think the cat like was necessarily hiding from going. I think it just sort of went in there and then it got a little disoriented because it was dark and it didn't know how to get out. Anyways, look, it's not funny because bad things can happen, not just, so there's the obvious bad thing. One, you can decide that you just don't have time to move everything and you're just gonna stay. That can be really dangerous for obvious reasons too. You might decide that you are going to leave, but you just don't have enough time to take all the pets, so you leave one or some of your pets. Now, I know that's something most good people wouldn't do, um, and perhaps, you know, it's easy for us to judge other people, you know, in certain situations, but by and large, you know, if you can grab your favorite clothes, I feel like you can grab your dog. Um, five seconds that it takes to grab a couple pets, even if you don't have any food or any water for them, you know, even if you got to go on a really long trip or even if your pet hates the car, whatever it is, you know, I really don't think there's an excuse to leave your pets there, even if you're not able to take care of them if you take them with you. But, you know, get, think about your pets as far as having to get out of an area. Um, people think about it for bugging in, you know, and they got all their dog food and all this stuff, but you know, are you in five minutes or less going to be able to get all your family and all your preps together or anything that you want to bug out with, plus all your pets and preferably some stuff for them, not required. Better to get your pets out and nothing for them than, you know, otherwise. So I talk about this because, you know, pets can't really speak for themselves other than, you know, those like really sad commercials you see about dog shelter, animal shelters and such. But, um, it's really, you know, and especially if you have bigger pets, oh my gosh, if you have a farm and you have like horses and cattle and stuff like that, there are, you know, California is not new to this fire thing. So in a lot of cases, what will happen is certain areas like expo centers and things like that will, uh, make themselves open to animals during evacuation. So, Make sure that, you know, your animal trailer is in good shape, that if you have a truck, let's say you have a truck that you tow your animal trailer with, but you don't use that truck all the time because it's kind of like your heavy duty truck and it sucks gas or whatever. If you haven't started that thing in, you know, four months because you just haven't done anything really heavy duty, you know, make sure you got some gas in there. Did you leave it empty last time you parked it and you were going to fill it up next time? And then there's a fire and you got to evacuate your four horses and your tank's empty. Maybe it's a diesel tank, and even if you have some diesel, and even if you have a diesel pump, you still got to go move the diesel, move the truck or whatever, pump the diesel. Are you going to have time to do all that? 
you know, hopefully, but better to be prepared, better to have the truck running normally, better to have air in the tires for your trailer, better to have um, just, you know, have thought about a couple of these things ahead of time. Um, so I'll keep this video kind of short, but just wanted to say, you know, on behalf of our, our furry and scaly critters and all type of pets that Californians and people across the country have, put just a little bit of time and thought and energy into making sure if you have to leave an area that you can take your uh, pets with you. And it's just, it's going to be better for all of us. Um, you know, no one wants to leave a pet behind and beyond, you know, loss of life or, or injury to the pet, you know, you're going to have to live with that decision too, you know, as a human being. Um, you don't want to have to live with the decision of leaving your pet. That's that's a terrible thing to have to do if you if you do ultimately have to do it. So better to spend a little bit of time, prepare, and take care of your pets. This is LA Prepper speaking for pets of preppers. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.